back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX School Academy. Uh, yeah, in the last episode, things got interesting, man. Uh, had a Shadow Game versus Titan, uh, had the anti roll going on, so, uh, I wonder what's gonna happen, uh, here during the week, uh, after all that, so let's just go to sleep here. Another week, another adventure. Alright, so, yeah, I do have some duels scheduled by mail, so let's go against Byzane. The road of a duelist is a long and treacherous. Let's see if you have the determination to make it through. Let's do it, Zane. All right, let's see if we see that Cyber Twin Dragon with Power Bond. I probably should have went second. You know, I really should go second against this guy. All right, duel. Hmm. First stream. Hmm. Let's go with Foolish Burial to start. Toss uh, Sinister Sharpen in the graveyard here. Where art thou, Sinister? There you are. Nice and early. Alright. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess I'll go with... Giant Rat Attack Mode. Okay. It's in the turn. Maybe I shouldn't have summoned that in Attack Mode in case he powers about Make no mistake, I am the best beast. Yes, you are, Zane. Just face down. Okay, I am on turn. All right, every action you make is worthless. I have made my face down. Go, ring of destruction. Wow, not bad, Zane. Not bad at all, girl. All right, so that'll take some uh, life point damage out of both of us. But now, Sinister Serpent will return to my hand in the standby phase. Ooh, not much going on here with this hand. Let's see if he's got magic hammer. Cross out. Uh. No match your battle footballer. Honestly, not a bad card, man. Not a bad card. Um, I could card destruction, but I kind of want to use some of these hope effects. Um, I could get back no moment of cross out, but let's just search for an equip here. Let's probably snatch him. I'm thinking might be a good idea because we know he doesn't have magic jammer right now. So I summon Cyber Jar in attack position. That could be a lot worse, honestly. So down goes Kotetsu. Alright, and what equip will we get? Hmm. Ah, uh, Snatch Shield's good. Snatch Shield's good. I mean, I guess I could have taken Premature Burial there to get Giant Rat. Um, well, that's, well I, <laughs> I can just take it now. Why not take it now? Another Kotetsu face down. Whoops. No, no need to battle. Alright, I end my turn, Zane. As long as he doesn't summon Cyber in, we should be fine. Oh, yeah, he's just attacking. Perfect. Alright, so with this one, like I said, we know he doesn't have Magic Jammer, so... Premature Burial this time. And we'll take back Giant Rat, I guess. Alright. No face downs, okay, okay. Oh, we got Drilago, so... Let's try summoning that first. I summon Drilago in attack mode. Alright, Zane. Now, I'm gonna attack. Go! Drillago! Man, my, my deck's almost kind of like a drill deck, because we got Drillago, we've got uh, a Drillroid, so you destroyed my Cyber Jar. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> uh, oh, call, okay. okay. On Cyber Jar, though? That's, that's obviously a win for us. Um, okay, Zane, I will... Yeah. I'll end the turn. Okay, what you got, bro? Hmm, tribute set? Interesting. Huh, well, we got Mirror Force back in the set. Maybe I should just burst stream that. No, but he tribute set, like, so... Maybe it's not all that strong? Hmm. I activate Premature Burial. So I'll pay 800 points... This lets me revive a monster, and I choose Giant Rat. Huh, but like, what tribute set wouldn't be that strong? I don't know, I don't know. Let's just attack. See what happens here, I'm curious. You have a, okay, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. So he's special summons battle footballer. So, wow, weird, he actually has you a Philroyd in this deck because it does let him uh, special summon machines. That's interesting. Okay, um, I could set Mirror Force, 
but I actually don't mind Giant Rat getting destroyed, um, so I'll end my turn. I might regret that. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, man, Zane's bricked. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Well, with that being said, I might as well go for the win here. Um, yeah, I might as well. So let's... Activate Rush Recklessly on Drillago in case we draw limit removal. Then I'll activate Go! Card Destruction. This is cards both of our hands and let us draw a new hand of the same amount of cards. Zane, sweet, we drew United We Stand. Okay, guys, that should be it. I summon Steamroid in attack mode. And now I'll equip my Steamroid with United We Stand. This card boosts my Steamroid by 800 for each monster I have on the field. Let's see what all he discarded. Wow, Cyber Dragon, Power Bomb, Power Bomb, Limiter. Holy crap. Why does he have Dragon's Mirror? That's interesting. But holy crap, what a hand. He just needed one more Cyber Dragon, and uh, yeah, wasn't looking good for us. But uh, okay, okay. All right, go. Drillago. Give his life points a drilling. All right, next, Giant Rat. Go. Bone Toss! <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna say something there. Go, Steamroid! Choo Choo! Alright. <laughs> I love Zane. He's so cool. Alright, and 448. Not bad. We could have done better, but we didn't really have too many aggressive monsters there. I knew you tried your best for me, so I did my best in return. I'm keeping an eye on you. Oh, and we got Zane again here. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's let's do it again, buddy. Let's do it again. All right, let's see if we draw a better hand than last time. I will go second if I get it right. Okay, second. Huh. What's also interesting is that, um... Yeah, Zane... Okay, so he ended that duel, make no mistake, I'm the best duelist. Yeah, what's interesting is he ended that duel with Cyber Dragon in his hand, and we card destruction it out. But what's interesting is that he didn't special summon Cyber Dragon with its own effect. That's, um, maybe that's, like, something up with the AI? I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that. Let's, wow, we got some good cards. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. We got the draw power, so upstart. Okay. Mm, yeah, Graceful Charity. Yeah, there's no Magic Gem or anything, so let's go for it. Okay. Turtle. Oh man, what an unfortunate series of draws. I actually drew two more of my turtles. Um, we do have Gigantes, so what's my weakest herb uh, that I can toss in the graveyard? I guess it's Steamroid, which isn't, you know, too weak, but eh, we'll take it. Okay. Alright, Zane, and now, hmm, I'm gonna banish an Earth Monster from my graveyard that I just discarded with Graceful Charity. This lets me switch so many Gontets. All right, and I'll probably set Kotetsu main phase two. Yeah, it's pretty unfortunate that we drew uh, both turtles and pretty unlikely to, oh, wow. Wow, Cyber Jar. All right, well, good thing I didn't overdo it there. Uh, hmm, Steamroid. I guess we'll summon an attack mode. Uh, Magician of Faith, defense mode. What you got, Zane? Taza the Zapper. Wow, Maneater Bug. Wow, my Taza is interesting. Okay, well, we know he's got Maneater Bug sets. Um, no, I don't think I want to activate anything here. Nope. Uh, what's it asking me to activate? Oh, Rush Recklessly, right. Um, so let's see, what should we take out? My Taza seems the most dangerous, honestly. It can attack twice, you know, so let's just. I mean, I know footballers got good defense, but let's get Mataza out of here. Yeah. Okay. All right. I uh, also forgot what all the spells and traps we gave Zane. Well, we only gave him one because he got four monsters. So that was a pretty good Cyber Jar for him and a pretty bad one for us. Um, I have Heavy Storm, too. Hmm. Let's set Rush Recklessly to defend Steamroid. And then let's set... What else in the graveyard? Ooh, right, Graceful Charity. Wow, good spell card. Let's set Magician of Faith. And we've got six. Okay, go ahead, Zane. All right, let's see what he does with all these monsters here. All right. I 
I summon mechanical chaser in attack mode. Not bad, Zane, not bad. You're just gonna attack? Perfect spell card. Fusion game. Uh, this could be bad, honestly. Um, are you gonna use fusion gate? Well, he's switching to defense. That's a good sign. Oh, wow. Okay. Ha, my mechanical chaser attacks. Destroy steam. Well, I don't think so, Zane. Even though my steamroid's gonna lose points, I'll activate Rush Recklessly to have it gain points. Uh oh, uh, this is the spell perfect spell card. I activate Limiter Removal. Well, it's it, that's yeah yeah that's a good move, Zane. But honestly, I don't mind that because he does get rid of two of his cards there, so not too bad. Okay, we know that this is Man Eater Bug. Um, should I wipe out Fusion Gate? I don't know, I don't know. Let's start with, oh wow, we have both Magician of Fate. Wow, that is so good. Okay, so let's start with one. All right, let's see if we can win this turn with two Magician of Fate. So I'll take Graceful Charity. All right, this is gonna be one heck of a turn, I have a feeling. All right, so I'll activate it, Graceful Charity. I'll definitely discard one of these extra turtles, because I don't think there's any other fires in my deck, so. Turtle number one, and what else? What else? Oh man, we got Sinister Sharpen too. What a good draw, wow. Holy cow, okay. Um, okay, let's go for another Graceful Charity. Go, Magician of Fate number two. Holy crap, our hands stacked. All right, and I'll take back the spell card I just used, Zane. Graceful Charity. Man, man, if we do something crazy, this, this turn's gonna make the highlight real for sure. All right, I'll activate it again, Zane. Go, Graceful Charity. So I draw three and discard two. Um, let's see, not sure if I have any other Earth still in my grave, um, but let's discard, no wait, he destroyed Steamroid, right? Yeah, so we do have an Earth. Okay, so let's discard, hmm, discard Drilago. Yes, giant true nades, fine. All right, I'll discard these two, Zane. All right, next we'll go with Gigantis. Um, yeah, not much else I can do. I mean, I, I was really hoping to draw like some limiter removal or something crazy, but no, we'll just we'll just do this. Um, also got a lot of my cards in my hand. If he didn't have Man Eater Bug, I'd go with Tribe here for sure. But let's uh, banish one he got just to summon another. All right, attack mode. Okay. Um, also, he has Fusion Gate, so I guess if I had something I could fuse, that would be pretty interesting here. Um, but let's just go with uh, probably just UFO Turtle. Now we'll go with Mechanical Chaser. We'll go with Mechanical Chaser. Alright. Um, something interesting I can try. Well, no, it doesn't work because he has Man Eater Bug. I was getting ready to say I could use Rush Recklessly on, um, yeah, one of my Magician of Faith to get over Mataza, but, uh, yeah, yeah, Man Eater Bug kind of, uh, so you just wouldn't buy Mataza. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Man Eater Bug kind of complicates things there, so eh, it's okay. Alright, so let's see what he takes out. Probably Gigantis, that's my call. Oh! Okay. That's fine by me, Zane. Fine by me. I guess he avoided the 300 damage, but uh, yeah. Not bad. So yeah, even if I had drawn limiter removal and stuff, I mean, yeah, Man Eater Bug's kind of a, kind of a problem, so... Not really sure we could have finished him off this turn. Uh, how many cards we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, I think I will just set that, and we're good. We're good. I end the turn, Zane. What you got, buddy? He's down to five cards now. All right, so we cleared out everything from the Cyber Jar. Oh, good. He's just ending his turn. Okay, wow. He's not using Fusion Gate. Honestly, I feel like we got pretty lucky, but... Uh, uh, nope, don't change anything. Return it to my hand. Yes. Okay, and we don't have limiter removal, so let's just, uh, yeah, let's just summon Mobius here. Um, okay. All right, Zane, now I'll tribute my second Magician of Faith to summon Mobius, the Frost Monarch. And this monster has an icy effect on your spells and traps. 
because when he's summoned, I can destroy up to two spells and traps on the field, and I choose Fusion Gate. Alright. Win in the duel, we're winning the duel. Yeah, so I'll discard Sinister Serpent for rising energy. Alright, this will boost my Mobius some more. Very good. Alright, I'm pretty sure we can win this turn since we have um, Merch Reckless Fleet. Just making sure there's nothing else I can do as far as damage. Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay. Alright, he got to us. Go! Earth Crusher Blow. I think we will get the times two bonus. Man, like, this duel felt like it was actually, like, uh, 15 turns with all the, <laughs> with all the graceful charities and stuff, but no, it was only six. That's crazy. So, let's see. Okay. And, yep, with Rush Recklessly, just enough to finish him off. Sweet. Alright. Now, Rush Recklessly boosts my Mobius. Alright, go, Mobius. Hyper Glacier Freeze. <laughs> Alright, Zane, we win, baby. Alright, what you got for me? A ah, nice times two. Nice. 984 DP. That's good. That's good stuff. All right. Man, that was that was crazy, man. Uh, we used Graceful Charity, you know, and back to back uh, twice in the same turn. That was that was awesome. That felt good. That felt really good. All right. Oh, we got Alexis here. Let's see what some of her dialogue is and stuff. You came, Flood. Yeah, I'm here, Alexis. Learn any new skills since last time? Eh, a couple, yeah. So let's just go with hits. And against her, it doesn't matter. We can go first or second. You know, it's whatever. So. All right. But definitely once I get like three Cyber Dragons, I'll definitely start going uh, second for sure. Um, let's just go with, I think, Turtle. Turtle's good. Okay. And we got swords in case we need it. Your move, Alexis. What you got? Let's see how good you are. It's my turn. I draw. All right. I feel bad for you now that I'm summoning Dunama's Dark Witch to the field. Can you handle this spell card? That's a pretty good spell card, Alexis. All right. Here goes. I attack your UFO turtle with my Dunama's Dark Witch. Oh, she winked at us. Oh. I don't know. What's that mean? All right. Anyway, Alexis, I activate my UFO turtle's ability. When it's destroyed in battle, well then, I can beam up another turtle from outer space. Wow, a lot of base downs. All right. Uh, seriously, are you trying at all? I reveal my face down. Solar Ray, that's interesting. Um, so this is a burn card for those of you who don't know. Uh, then she kind of used it a little early. Uh, yeah, inflict 600 points of damage to your opponent for each face-up light monster you have on your field. Man, I remember uh, <laughs> in one of the recent events in Matradal, there was like a fiend and fairy theme, right? And I actually ran this card because I was running the uh, Agent of Creation Venus, which you can use to get a bunch of mystical shine balls out. And I can't tell you how many times Solar Ray won me the game in that event. It was pretty funny, honestly. Um, I kind of wish I had recorded it. Um, something we can do here. We got Gigantes. Um, ooh, Blast Sphere. Blast Sphere will be so good against Dunamis. Uh, I don't know if she'll go after our face down, but that's our best bet for now. And I'll just switch turtle to defense, and I end my turn. But yeah, yeah, so it's pretty funny. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Agent of Creation Venus, uh, I'm summoning Warrior of Zera. Not bad. Not bad, Lexus. Okay, going after Turtle. Um, you know, I might actually decline the effect here. Yeah, because if I do, she'll attack my Blast Sphere, which I want. So let's decline Turtle. Normally I wouldn't, but, you know, I definitely want, yeah, Blast Sphere on that. Yeah, because it's at 3,400. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, yeah, so, uh, Agent of Creation Venus has a special ability that, uh, by paying, uh, 500 life points, uh, you can special summon a Mystical Shine Ball from your deck, and it's a light monster itself, and Mystical Shine Ball, it's like a normal monster with 500, 500. Seriously, are you trying at all? I remove my face down. Mirror Force. Not bad, Lexi, not bad. Um... And so, yeah, yeah, I would just do that, you know, get a bunch of them out. And with those, you can go into a bunch of Link Summons and stuff, you know, that that's the normal plan. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny that I tech that in. Um, well, uh, this is getting destroyed. So I guess X-Head Cannon's a safe bet in attack mode. Um, yeah, I am my turn. 
All right, Alexis, time for you to feel the fury of my blast sphere. Oof, man, big damage. Can you handle this? Activate. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Now, is she gonna crash, is the question. Defense? Uh, oh, 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 she went to the battle phase for a second. I was just like, oh, oh maybe she will, but uh, no. Okay. Finally got limiter removal, that's good. Um, so I can do 18, and I got cannon soldier. So I can do like another thousand um, with its effects. Unfortunately, she switches over to defense. If she didn't, you know, I'd probably go for limiter removal here. Um, but, you know, it's all good. We'll just set um, Sinister Serpent this turn. And, uh, yeah. We'll just attack with x -head Cannon on Zera. Nope. I guess I'll set Limiter Removal in case she, like, Tribute Summons or, like, Fuses. Uh, I don't know if Lexus has a lot of, uh, you know, her normal fusions, like the, uh, Cyber Blader stuff. Oh, she has one card in her fusion deck. Okay. I wonder if that's Cyber Blader. I mean, it has to be, right? That's, like, her signature monster from the anime, so... Um, but we haven't seen her play any of the materials, unlike Jaden, where we always seem to play at least, you know, one hero card, so... Alright, <clears throat> Attack and Sinister Serpent, that's fine. I'll just bring him back next standby face. If she doesn't play any face downs, I think we've got her. So... Oh, oh, oh. I, I jinxed it, guys. That's it for my turn. Alright. Alright, so I guess we'll bait the Magic Jammer. Um, standby... Chain? No. Add? Yes. Okay. Alright, Alexis, I activate Swords of Revealing Lights. Hmm. Well, she didn't do anything, so... But she's already played Mirror Force, right? Uh, what if it's Torrential Tribute, though? And... Well, honestly, not really much I can do about it if it is, so... Go! Cannon Soldier. Okay, looks like we're okay, so... Let's try to attack with Cannon Soldier first. Okay. We'll wait till the damage step. All right, now, Alexis, it's time. Damage step. Go, limiter removal. This unlocks all the limits on my machines and doubles their points. I was afraid of that. Uh... Oh! Hmm, that might actually save her here. I don't know. All right, go, XF Cannon. Double Cannon Barrel Blast. Actually, it doesn't save her because I played Cannon Soldier. All right, so we took a risk there, but paid off. All right, and now I'll sacrifice x -Head Cannon for Cannon Soldier. Game over. Sweet. Oh, 331. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get the times two or anything on this one, so you won. Seems like you have what it takes to make it. Hmm, Alexis is impressed. We have a new pack today. Ooh, new pack. All right, anything catch your eye? Um, well, actually, I'm not sure where we at where we're at on time, but let me just uh, let me just uh, use my the features of my Soldier Boy official game console here. Uh, we'll go with states. Oh yeah, this is all the way back in July. We'll go with uh, ten and nine. Yeah, and I'm doing this just in case like uh, my phone cuts off or anything. I can just jump back in next episode. Okay. Uh, but if we do have time, let's, what's the new pack, I wonder? Um, anyway, let's grab, like, one of this. Was this always here? Trap special? Probably. Um, what's the new pack? Uh, let's get a few fusions. Um, let's get some, oh, that's the new pack. Ah, basic 4A, okay. Uh, don't really know what's in here, but let's take four of them. And was this always here? I think so, yeah. Um, okay, and then, yeah, I'm still looking for the Pot of Greed, too. So let's take one of each spell special, and I'll see where I'm at on the percentages. Is this okay? Yeah, Dorothy, thanks. All right, and we do want to save some of our points for the weekend. So, ooh, Creator Incarnate, Harpy Lady 1, oh, oh Jama King, baby. Heck yeah. Hammer Shots, uh, Pitch Black Werewolf. That's actually good, because it disables traps in the battle phase. Not too bad, Charcoal and Pachi, okay. Good Fire Monster, Fusions, Chimera. All right, what else? St. Joan, pretty cool fusion, yeah. Deep Sea Shark, Rabbit Horseman, one of Kaiba's cards. Uh, Tribute to the Doom, one of the rarest cards around. 
All right. Uh, Dark Magic Curtain. Not bad. Book of Moon. Pretty good stuff there. Solar Ray. All right. Was that Spell Stopping Statue, I think? Ceasefire. Pretty good trap card. It's a burn card. All right. So, not bad. Um, let's see where we're at. Oh, we got an Enraged Mooka Mooka. Ooh. I'll probably throw that into the deck instead of the regular Mooka Mooka. Because check it out. This one gains, yeah, 400 attack and defense. And you can get it with Giant Rat because it's at 1,200 attack. Not bad. Uh, let's see where we're at on the uh, spells. So this one's 90%. And this one's 84. Okay, so I'll buy two of two and one more of one. And we'll call it good. Save some of our packs for the weekend. So, we are still recording, right? Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Alright, so two more of two, one of one, and we'll take two. We'll take two of each, actually. Yeah, that's cool, Dorothy. Alright, hopefully we get Pot of Greed out of one of these. Uh, Elegant Egotist, not bad. Uh, Fusion Recovery can be pretty good. Um, tricky spell, four, order to charge. Oh, man. Two dark magic attack. I feel that's pretty unlucky, honestly. Um, uh, one more, one more, Dorothy. Just one more. Man, I really want that pot of greed. I mean, because everyone else has it, so why shouldn't we, right? Um, all right, one of this and one more of this. I, I don't even know which one pot of greed's in, but you know. Anyway, uh, fissure, not bad. Heavy Storm, wow. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's only limited to one, but still, that's good. Emergency Provisions, interesting. Okay, so... All right, all right. No pot of greed this episode, guys, but I'm going to keep trying. Uh, we got really lucky with Graceful Charity early on, so... All right, and looks like that's it. Um, well, yeah, with that being said, guys, I think this is going to be the uh, end of the episode here. So I'm just going to save real quick. Oh, cool, we got everything in. All right, guys, but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for, for me here. Appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, next time we're just going to do a couple more people by mail. I think we also have an exam coming up uh, with traps, right? That's the deck with traps. Um, so I think what I'll do in between episodes, just to prepare, um, I'll make the... Uh, remember I was saying I want to make that Exchange of the Spirit deck? So I think I'll make that... Um, yeah, and we'll wait till like Thursday to test it, you know, in game, Thursday in game. Yeah, we'll test it and then, uh, but I'll go ahead and make it now after I transfer this episode and stuff. And uh, yeah, honestly, that sounds like a plan. That way we can uh, get ready for the upcoming exam. All right, but uh, appreciate all you guys and I'll see you all next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! TX School Academy. All right, have a good day.